Now we're gonna talk about pears. So here's two cups of water and a half a cup of sugar. So you get that dissolved. You're kind of making a very light sugar syrup. So when you can no longer feel the sugar scratching on the bottom of the pan, that's when you want to add pears. And for this recipe, I'm using bosque pears. Bosque pears are a little texture is a little tighter and they hold up well if you're poaching them or you're even boiling them or baking them. So they're a good all around pear. So they go in the sugar syrup, just like that. And you let them cook in there for about, I would say five minutes. You add about a tablespoon of black peppercorns. Heard me right, black peppercorns. You put that in to poach with the pears. And the last thing you need is a vanilla bean. And here is a beautiful whole vanilla bean. Now, if you don't know about vanilla beans, you're not familiar with them, they come in a jar like this in your baking section, and they are actually the seed pod of an orchid plant. And I know that that's a very fresh vanilla bean because it's very pliable. And the way it's used in baking is either whole like this, or for this recipe, we wanna slit it right down the center, just like that, because that's where all those little seeds are hiding, you see? You open it up, and if you scrape, you see these seeds right there. So we wanna scrape this right into here. So this just takes a little bit of patience. Scrape all those seeds in. You want probably, this is a, good, a goodly amount here, just in this piece of vanilla bean. So you get that in. And you just turn those pears every so often. When they're soft, you take them out and you serve them with the peppercorns, vanilla, and some of the sugar syrup.